Hello and welcome to the 2020 Alvin C. Warnick Beef Cattle Reproductive Management online video series. I am Bridget Stice, Livestock Extension Agent in Polk County, Florida and member of the University of Florida IFAS South Florida Beef Forage Program. Each year, the South Florida Beef Forage Program offers a comprehensive beef cattle reproductive management school. These schools are hosted at working beef cattle ranches. However, the COVID-19 pandemic presented us with some challenges that made hosting the live and in-person school just not possible. So we decided to do the next best thing and produce this online video series that addresses the topics that are so integral to a successful breeding program on the cow-calf operation in Florida. Before I talk more about the school and the topics we will cover in this video series, I would like to tell you about the namesake of our school, Dr. Alvin C. Warnick. Dr. Warnick joined the University of Florida's Department of Animal Sciences in the early 1950s, when Florida's cattle industry was on the edge of modernization, when the industry was emerging from open range, eradication of fever tick and screw worms. Dr. Warnick was a progressive thinker who shared his knowledge and expertise with thousands of cattle producers throughout his career and inspired great changes and accomplishments throughout his history. Dr. Warnick focused on improving the reproduction genetics and nutrition of the Florida cow herd. When Dr. Warnick arrived in Florida, the average weaning rate for the Florida cow herd was approximately 50%, and the weight of the marketed calf was approximately 250 pounds at two years of age. Today, the Florida cattle industry weans calves at 85 to 90%, with a weaning weight of more than 500 pounds at mere months in age, all on much less land. Dr. Warnick's contributions included pioneering the technique of palpation for pregnancy and subsequent removal of non-pregnant and underperforming cows, developing a management technique for replacing each generation with cattle of superior performance. Dr. Warnick's research also led to the understanding of the value of crossbreeding and heterosis in reproductive traits that ultimately improved fertility of the Florida cow herd. These are just a few examples of some of the innovative research and outreach that Dr. Warnick contributed to the Florida cattle industry. Dr. Warnick was one of the founding contributing specialists to the Beef Cattle Reproductive Management School in 1984. The school has continued each year since then, with Dr. Warnick contributing even through retirement up until 2015. The school is offered by the University of Florida IFAS South Florida Beef Forage Program, which is a UF IFAS extension multi-county educational program that focuses on beef cattle and pasture and forage education. Members of the South Florida Beef Forage Program include county extension faculty and state extension specialists. Veterinarians, extension specialists, cattlemen, and reproductive technicians are also part of the delivery of the annual reproductive management school. The reproductive management school was initiated in 1984 because of specific problems in reproductive management identified by individual cattlemen and county extension advisory committees. The purpose of this school has been to strengthen managerial capabilities of owners and operators of beef ranches. The traditional reproductive management school utilizes technical seminars and labs dealing with the reproductive management of the cow herd. The goal of this school and this video series is to improve understanding of the broad subject of her breeding herd management that includes more than reproductive physiology, but nutrition, genetics, health, and various other facets of management that all have a direct effect on the breeding performance of the herd. It is our goal that this will better equip participants to work with their veterinarians in accomplishing breeding program objectives. The most important aspect of commercial beef cattle production is reproductive efficiency. Good reproductive management can make the difference between profit and loss in a cow operation. According to a Georgia study, a producer must average a calf crop of more than 85% to meet production expenses each year. Unfortunately, many beef cattle producers are operating under this bar but a few innovative operation changes could significantly improve profit potential. Improved herd management and selection for reproductive performance can substantially increase the percent calf crop. Key management areas that will help improve reproductive efficiency include genetic selection, controlled calving breeding seasons, strategic supplementation, and herd health. The topics we will cover in this video series will address these key management areas. We hope you find these videos to be helpful to you as you navigate your cow herd management system. If you are interested in participating in an in-person offering of the Alvin C. Warnick Beef Cattle Reproductive Management School, please contact your local county extension agent or visit sfbfp.ifas.ufl.edu. And thank you.